It's Sunday, Sunday, gotta go to work on Monday, but still got one day before I got to go to work, yeah. That's right people, it's Sunday. This is a kitty, and it's Sunday. What are you doing? Get in. Cat. You're a kitty cat. And you meow meow meow, and you meow meow meow. Cat. You're a kitty cat. And you high five the camera, and you high five the camera. Oreo. Who runs away from the camera. Hey buddy. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? That's, no. 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 Stop it. No. No more. I have no idea what the frig's going on today. Like, got up at like 2.33. Holy shit, the trees have ice all over them. That means the roads are probably fucking legendary too. See, she had to take a look too. But, uh, yeah, the roads are probably slippier than shit. Which means I probably don't want to go driving today, but I don't know what, uh, what to do with myself. I could carry on working on getting shit out of the red room and putting it into the bedroom and getting the bed out of the bedroom and putting it into the red room. So, yeah, I don't know. Right now I'm just making a coffee. Maybe if this motivates me enough today, I'll probably start working on the freaking bedroom and red room and things. Get shit moved. Maybe tonight I'll be sleeping in a different room. Who knows? One thing I do know is uh, friggin' dad went and bought himself his new TV already. Yeah. Oh, I got something in my eye. Oh, it's just my eyeball. But uh, dad's current setup, his computer won't do HDMI out. And he really wanted an HDMI out to go from his computer to the TV. So, I went on Newegg last night, found a AMD 6450 for him, 30 bucks, bought it. I'm gonna stab that in next weekend. By the it should come in probably Wednesday, Thursday this weekend. So we'll stab that in his computer next weekend and then hook it all up and he should be good to go. Yeah, buddy. So like I mentioned on yesterday's video, last night we did a Google Hangout and uh, Jules was asking me, she's like, oh, are you gonna drop a video letting people know that we're doing a Google Hangout? I'm like, no. <laughs> and she's like, oh, I might drop one. I'm like, well, go ahead, but it's not really worth Worth it and the reason why it's not really worth it is well back when I used to do the Google Hangouts a long freaking time ago uh, they you could only be like what like eight people in a hangout and then the room was full well Google was you know nice enough to say we'll let you have two more yeah, 10 people in a hangout that's it rooms full call or quits like holy shit that's it 10 people so sure enough last night my Facebook's blown up my YouTube's blown up everybody's like I'm trying to get in but I can't because there's no room and, and things and oh well, unfortunately that's Google Plus or Google Hangout for you 10 people only freaking sucks but uh, ah well it's the way she goes well, that's like when we used to do blog TV live shows the one thing I missed that no other live show company does well there's probably a couple out there but uh, blog TV had that feature to co-host so you could have somebody co-hosting your live show without physically being in the room with you there little webcam appears in the bottom corner and people can resize it or do like a split vision so they see like my webcam and the, the co-host webcam. Now that was really cool. I really like that feature. We used it a bunch of times. Uh, Pug1 co-hosted on Blog TV. Uh, Crazy British Bloke co-hosted on Blog TV. You know people who physically can't be here to have the live show could jump into a co-host window and and you know freaking answer questions and things. So it's kind of a cool feature. So I, I really like that. But uh, like Ustream, well theoretically we could do it with Ustream. I could just get somebody to come across Skype and then uh, vid share their window using XSplit and plop it into the, uh, the the guy, like plop it into the son of a bitch and it would work. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Kind of a pain in the ass. Well, I think I'm going to head over to Jules' house, see what's going on over there and uh, hang out. I feel like making it a lazy Sunday today, even though yesterday was a lazy Saturday. Ah, two lazies back to back, frig it. Right kitten? Frig it, right? Right kitten? Right kitten? He's a kitten. Right. Gonna speak? No, you're gonna clean your legs. Hey, scampers. Scampers. Hi. Speak. Say something. Or don't. Nah, one day. One day she'll speak. Cause remember what Felix said, all cats can speak. They just choose not to. Alrighty, well, I'm just leaving Jules' house now. Came over, hung out, you know, vaped a little. It's hard to put a seatbelt on one hand. Thinking I'm gonna go home, make something to eat, and we'll see what we're gonna do about that room. Let's go. This is one of those times I should have been recording the road because I almost got fed into the cabbage. Freaking guy coming around the corner there on the S bend, and he's right in the middle of the freaking road. And he's not moving over, and he's like giving me the high beams and shit, like, bro, get off the road. So the only option I had was to take her to the ditch. Luckily, uh, I managed to get out of the ditch before I hit the fucking snowbank because that would have sucked. Man, it's like, okay, I understand it's really snowing out right now, it's, it's coming down pretty bad. But uh, does that mean that everybody on the road has to turn into a complete belligerent idiot and not know how to drive? 
I guess so. Alright people, I'm back home. I'm going to have a bite to eat and then uh, we're going to talk about that other room and try and come up with ideas. So, let me eat. We'll be back. Oh man, I ate my supper and then I was like, oh, maybe I'll go lay down and finish watching my episode. I'm watching this show on Netflix called Arrow. And I was like, maybe I'll go lay down and watch an episode of that. Fucking passed out. Yeah, passed out. It's currently nine quarter to ten and uh, I had a little nappy nap. But here's the major problem with bringing all the computers into this room is right now you see an ethernet cord going across the floor there. Well, originally that cable hooked up to my computer, well hooked up to a router or a, a hub. Come on Adam. Hooked up to a smart sensing switch that was hooked up to my computer and the ex's old computer and my Xbox and whatever. Well, if I bring all the computer shit in here, and that's my, like the desktop and the modem, well I can't bring the modem in, uh, I can bring the router in, I'm gonna have to figure out a way how I'm gonna have to hook everything back up. I do somewhere have a spool of a thousand feet of cable and I do somewhere have RJ 45 crimpers and I also do somewhere have friggin RJ45 heads so I could always recrimp me some more wires if need be. <coughs> But um, I was trying to think of a way how I could bring the modem and the router in here and the only way I could think of doing it would require spring time because I would need to reroute the cable feed for cable TV rather than coming in through the red room I have to get out of my ladder up, up on top and re-divert it to the cable that's coming in from over here somewhere. There's a cable line right there coming in. If I could re-divert it to that then I'd be set. I could just set up the modem them in the router right up on this desk maybe after I clean it all off of course and then have my PC my gaming PC on there and all that so I'd have the router the modem everything sitting there and I'd have my desktop sitting where it is right now back in this corner here I was gonna grab the L desk from downstairs and set that up with the two Acer laptops and the Sony PS3 or maybe the three Acer laptops or I mean the two Acer laptops and the MacBook Air whatever set them up here and then along this wall here would have been the white table and I'd put my uh, all my my vaping shit on it as well as a USB charger so I can charge everything on the go and all that nonsense but like I said there's two things I got to do first is figure out how the fuck I'm going to keep the internet live because I definitely need internet got to be uploading to YouTubes and watching Netflix and shit and the second thing is is before I even move this bed obviously I'm moving it in segments I need to fix this side of the frame because I guess when the ex lived here and she jumped on the bed she blew the fucking caster clear off the rail so now literally it's just a pole stabbing into the ground so I gotta lift it put the caster back into it maybe get a pair of vice grips or something vice grip it shut maybe even go balls deep and bring the buzz box in the house and fucking welder I don't know it would be easier to bring the frame out to the garage and welder but yeah not a lot of fun things to do when it's winter time and you can't get a ladder to where you need to do to run things and pain in the cock mind you I could temporarily set it up now and then come spring we can do the finalization of it but uh yeah yeah pain in the cock I think I gotta drop her so I'm gonna go poop. Brought some shit in from the other room. Still got some more shit to bring in. And then uh, tomorrow I'm probably gonna take apart that table. Wheel that in and just shove it somewhere over here-ish. Somewhere out of the way. And then this thing's going in the other room. But for now, took a bit of a break and started playing with my RDA. What's an RDA? It's a rebuildable, drippable atomizer. I have the Igo L. And I put this coil onto it. Yeah, it's not pretty. That's for sure. But she, uh, she vapes. You know, she throws the fumes. Don't worry about it. Freaking goes all day. Just just goes all day. You know, throwing clouds, so yep. Hits like a fucking tank. I friggin' got it all built and all set up and all juiced and I hit it and I, I got this thing here to test the uh, the ohms, right? So you hook your uh, your RDA up to it or whatever and if I can flip it around and show you the screen. Uh, right now it says 1 because there's nothing on it so it's the open loop but uh, if I were to plug an atomizer into here it would tell me the resistance of the coil. And the other cool feature is I got another device that you can uh, screw onto there and you can take your Ego batteries like, uh, like these style of batteries, screw them on there and see if the voltage coming out is actually the right voltage because these cheap Chinese knockoffs uh, I've tested them they're supposed to be 3.7 volts continuous and they're throwing 3.3 volts continuous where the actual Ego C that I have which is this guy here the Ego C which is yeah I don't know if it reversed it or not but it will uh, it throws 3.7 all day long so it hits harder than the knock and no name knockoff friggin China batteries from Deal Extreme and Fast Tech so yep Friggin works. So hopefully this week I get the rest of my vape gear from Fast Tech. I ordered a Nemesis clone and um, the Kraken. 
Yep, the Kraken. So I ordered those two. Can't wait to play with those. Yeah, play with those, eh? Like they're fucking toys. But uh, the rebuilding part of the Kraken is going to be the funnest. And what I like about the Kraken, unlike this setup is not something you really want to travel with, well, in my opinion. Some people do. They carry these drippables with them. But the problem is, is then you have to carry around a bottle of juice with you, right? And I don't like doing that. Well, the Kraken essentially is one of these with a tank underneath. And instead of just fucking pile driving all your wick, I'm using cotton, 100% uh, organic non-bleached friggin epic cotton and the coil I wrapped that coil using this thing I just wrapped it around the friggin yeah and uh, got her all done so the only thing that uh, the difference between the Kraken and this is the Kraken has a tank that your wick will go into and start sapping up some e-juice onto the coil so you, ne you don't have to sit there and keep dripping and dripping and the tank I believe is a two millimeter or a two milliliter tank so that should last a while so it's a lot more travel friendly like a, they call them hybrids because it's a rebuildable drippable atomizer with a tank so it's kind of like not the best of both worlds like the jack of all trades but the master of none but I've seen videos of people using these things and they nearly die every time like I I fucking choke out big time when I use this thing. Now let's give it a toot. Here goes nothing. It doesn't take much either like the other pens you gotta sit there and haul on them for like a year. This thing here, the air hole on it's way too big. Like, it, it throws vapor really well. So, it works good. I like it. But it's not something I'd bring to work with me or go on a car ride with because you're always putting drops into it. You can add like 10 drops, you might get 25 hits out of it before she's dried up, you know? So, cool concept. Love it for in the house, but not really for on the road. Oh, and I'm running this on my Vamo V5 because it's the only thing that'll, that I have. That'll go above 11 watts. And I'm currently vaping at, uh, what am I at here? 14 watts, if you can see that. So... I need a DNA 20. A DNA 20 mod. <laughs> Those things can go to 20 watts and you can just really kick the shit out of it. But uh, they're 200 bucks and uh, custom made. And what kind of sucks is when you order one, they're build to order, right? So you contact Buddy Van Dudu and say, I want a DNA 20 mod. And then he gives you all these options for what to build them out of, like freaking Altoids cans or uh, whatever. You know, you can get one in a freaking Nintendo controller. Anybody in the vaping world's already seen those. They've been kicking around for a while. But you're looking at anywhere from three to five weeks for build and shipping. So you pay the guy and then you freaking hope to Christ that this individual is going to send you the item. So yeah, I'd like to get the DNA 20 chip and build it myself but having a hard time tracking down where to buy those chips. So, frig it. Well, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I haven't done a lot of anything. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I brought a bunch of shit into the bedroom, but I haven't even considered tearing down that table yet and getting it ready to go because uh, I just didn't feel like doing that. But I'm going to show you what I'm up against so you get an idea. See, I took all this crap out. Still got to bring the guitar amp, that footstool, that thing out. But uh, there's a bunch of crap on the desks here, but I got a box in the other room that I'm just going to load all this crap into and we'll be golden. We'll be golden. But, uh, Underneath here, this is how I mounted this wood. You see that screw? And there's another one way the frig down there somewhere, right over there. So there's a screw here, a screw down there, and I don't know if I have any more screws. Oh, there's a screw right here, so there's the split. Wait a second, why do I have like 15 fucking screws in here? Oh, this screw here is for this piece of wood. This screw here is for this piece of wood. And there's probably some more over here somewhere. Yeah, there's a couple more. Of it. What is really going on? Anyway. So I drove a bunch of screws into it because originally this table was going to sit here and I was going to originally move all my computers into this room. But I think this room for sleeping would be better. It's smaller, better, frig it, you know. We'll use this room for sleeping and use the other room for computers. But um, right now, like I said, I got that wire going coming off the router over there. Coming underneath here somewhere and it punches through the wall. I have right there. Right there, it punches through the wall. So I don't know how long that wire actually is, or how tight it is, but if I got some room, what I might do is... Here, here's the plan I'm thinking of, because doing the coax cable thing might be kind of difficult. The battle plan is, leave the cable modem over here on the desk. Over here somewhere. There it is in the corner. It's being a cable modem all by itself. Okay, 
all this crap, this is all going in the other room. All right, that's all going in the other room. That wire in the wall should pull out. So the battle plan is, is to pull it out and bring it in here. And then I might set my router up in the other room, and then take this white wire, plug it into the router, and have that line going through the wall, because this is CAT6 wiring. Have it come off the modem, down, route it, route it, route it through the wall, and I'm gonna just lift the carpet up. It's only like fucking nails in the side wall holding it in, so I'll just lift it up and tuck it underneath the carpet so it's out of sight, out of mind, and then pass it through the wall. And then over here, on the other side of the bed where it comes through, well, that table will be sitting here, so I can set up the router in the corner maybe, or whatever, and have it in here, and then I can run maybe another cable over to my computer, which my desk's a fucking mess right now. That's what I'm saying. I got a lot of work to do to get this done. Got a lot of hoarding to get rid of and stuff to put away in things and my desk's a freaking vape mess and I got license plates and shit on it that I gotta bring up to the garage and do like Pug did. Zip tie them together and hang them on my wall. But yeah, so I got a lot of junk to, to deal with still and uh, once it's all said and done, we'll be, we'll be balling, right? We'll be balling. So that's my battle plan there. Uh, and then going in the other room will be obviously this bed. Probably both these tables. I'm just going to bring them in there to get them out of here. And then I'll have that white desk along here, like I said. Leaving these two desks here, my game or my uh, gaming computer, the 8300, is going to go on this desk with both monitors. I might modify this desk, basically take off this shelf, take off this shelf, and then just run an L brace in the back because these actual, actually offer structural integrity to the entire desk. The way they're mounted on there, they kind of form the top corners, and without them, the desk is side to side flimsy. So I might modify it or I might cut these boards out. I don't know I'm probably gonna take these boards right off and just L bracket them Maybe I'm gonna have to see about that because I want both my monitors for my XPS 8300 sitting on here And then back here once I get all this shit all cleared out uh, I'm gonna put that corner desk downstairs and I'm gonna put a laptop on it Probably that Acer I have or either the Acer or the other Acer definitely not that Dell But it's gonna be either the A8 powered Acer or the i5 powered Acer and my PlayStation 3 will be over here with a uh, good mic to record my voice while playing which is kind of a pain in the ass because that's what I do in the other room but um, you know what I might set it up so the PlayStation's mic records the audio for gameplay on the PlayStation I can do that so that's probably what I'll do maybe I don't know we'll figure things out we'll definitely figure things out I'm not too worried even if I have to use like the snowflake or something to record the game like my voice audio or maybe later on I'll pick up a different mic for that who knows who the frig knows or even for my PC gaming, I could not use the Yeti, and you save the Yeti for the, for the, uh, the friggin' PS3, and for my PC gaming, I got a couple pretty good condenser mics built into headphones, I could always go that route, you know, it's just not that big of a deal, so, yeah, like, got some plans, and once that's all said and done, you know, I'll have a, a room dedicated to computing, I come in here, I do my work and all that, oh shit, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, time for bed, you know, quickly edit up my vlog on the computer, drill it up to YouTubes, and go to sleep, you know, jump in the other room, pass out, and in that room over there, I won't be too worried about the cat going in there because there won't be any wires because she likes to chew wires I'm hoping she gets out of that phase but uh, it's the whole I'm attracted to string thing but Felix was like that as a kitten. He was a little fuck stick who liked to chew a lot of wires. And he kind of uh, grew out of that phase. So that's a good thing. So I'm hoping the same thing happens with kitten. Well, we didn't get as much snow as they were calling for. So that's a bonus. Because we got doused on earlier today. And I was thinking tomorrow before going into work, I was going to have to go out there and run the snowblower. Didn't really want to do that too much, let me tell you. Just like Felix used to do, clawing at the friggin' walls. She's so nutty. I'm going to say my storm door wasn't quite doing its job. Son of a bitch. For freak's sakes, he's crapping right where I walk. Ah, oh, well, what do you expect? I never plowed in many areas to go crap. Huh. Yeah, I guess the shit winds were just a-blowing, eh? Holy fuck. Look at the snow. Look at that snow drift right there. It's pretty good snow drift, I do say so myself. What do you say? Eh, yeah, nothing. Sinks are still full of water. No, the plug's not in it. It's just sitting in there. It's like, I take the plug out, nothing happens. I just have it sitting in there right now, frig it. But it's all good because I went out and bought some fine china the other day. Yup, 40 friggin' paper plates, fine china, friggin' right. Also bought a uh, 75 pack, 25 paper, uh, plastic forks, knives, and spoons. So, uh, won't need to dirty any dishes until this weather clears up or until dad comes over and reroutes the pipe. Either way, probably won't be until spring. Not a big deal, not no rush. But anyway, people, I'm gonna shut the video down here. It's 2.30 in the morning, I'm gonna go to bed. And tomorrow, back to work. I have a feeling we're gonna be short-staffed for a while. Yup. I guess one of the co-workers there, he was off on Thursday, off on Friday, and off Saturday and today. 
Um, I guess he's got pneumonia or some nonsense. Uh, he's not coming back tomorrow either. So basically it's going to be short staffed once again. Yep. So sucks that he has pneumonia. I had that once and that fucking blew. Spending three weeks in the hospital eating their shitty food and watching a two inch TV and no internets and oh my god. If I had to go back to the hospital now I'd fucking cry a lot I think. You know, but anyway, I'm going to shut her down. If you like today's video, click the like button. Questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.